2016? Oh, that's a tough one. There are so many highlights. Um, I'd have to say um, I released my very first piece of music to the world in 2016. So that was a pretty big step. And it reached number 10, uh, number 9 on the iTunes Singer Summer Ad Chart, which is cool. pretty cool. Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. That's fantastic. And I mean, first in. Yeah. Wow, wow. So you've been to Tamworth before? Yeah, this is actually our seventh year. Okay, so yeah. have you done some busking? I, I started when, ah, I, when I first came to Tamworth, yeah. I was on Peter Street busking yeah. and doing all that sort of stuff and working hard out in the sun. <laughs> that's what you try to tell people, that's what it's all about. You exactly. come here, you start the busking and then you get a feel for it. And then many of the buskers have gone on to graduate and, and bigger things over here. Yeah. Becky Cole, for instance, is one perfect example. Yeah, it's crazy. Just the opportunities that he brings. Like, the, you never know who's going to walk the streets. Yeah. I think that's the best thing about Tamworth. Like, it's all it's all about the up and coming, and you know, yeah. getting noticed. So, yeah, it's great. Well, like Troy Casadale. Troy Casadale, yes, yes, and then. Uh, and then uh, I think it was 14 or 15 year old, he did his first single I played on out here at, uh, at uh, um, Hadley Records. Uh, Hadley. Yeah, he was recording out there. <laughs> oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, exactly. You never know who's walking past and who's going to um, uh, give you that opportunity and, and say, come on and play with me. Yeah, totally. And it happens all the time. You see it happening. You know, from those big stars that are just nurturing all this talent that's coming through, it's, it's totally incredible. I think here in Australia, we're very unique in that way, uh, where a lot of the bigger stars really love uh, uh, helping out the younger stars. Yeah. I mean, I know that uh, Adam and Becky and many of them, you know, over the years have, have taken the talent and, and helped the younger stars out. That's a wonderful yeah. thing. It's so good. It's just like they're giving back. Um, you know, they probably had went through the same thing where, um, you know, people helped them along the way. So it's great to see that. Yeah, that's wonderful. Thing. So, so when uh, when you started playing, how, when did you start playing country music? When did you start being interested? In it? Um, well, it was about three years old. I wanted a guitar, um, so yeah, I got like a little toy guitar. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I just just played around on that. Didn't Are your parents much? musical at all? No, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's so bad because I don't get to jam out with anyone. <laughs> it's the worst no. thing ever. <laughs> yeah. So you used to sit in your bedroom and play your little deal? Yeah, little deal exactly. Like, wow, well, that's fascinating. Yes. Yeah, so, well, so when did you first get a hankering to want to perform? Yeah, um, well, I learned guitar really quickly and oh. my guitar teacher was like, well, do you sing? It's like, no way. Never, never go near a microphone. <laughs> and uh, I gave that a shot and that's where I am now. So. Awesome. It's been a pretty cool journey. Well, uh, you have your guitar with you. Yes, um, uh, We might uh, get you to play us uh, a little something. What, um, so tell us about the song that you, you're going to perform for us and um, why you chose it. Yes, yeah, sweet. Um, well, I actually might play you my single that I released um, last year. This one's called Elijah. Mm. Yeah, goes like achieving, this. achieving number nine on the iTunes single uh, Sing a song like a chart, oh, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I wrote this song with uh, Kaylin's Rain. So.
Now, um, tell us about uh, the fact you you actually you actually did that with Matt Phil. I sure did. He's one of my favourites. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. He's just such a talented. Absolutely. Guy. Yeah, we went into the studio and I had this vision of how like I wanted the song to sound. And As we all do. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But you do as a musician, of course. <laughs> yeah. And anyway, I, I didn't say anything. I just left it up to Matt. I had full faith in this guy. Like, I only just met him, so yeah. I, I decided just to give him a chance and do what he wanted to do. Well, he's a bit of a veteran now, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> anyway, he did it, and it was exactly like I wanted. Just awesome. bigger, bigger picture. It was, like, so much better. <laughs> well, I'm glad yeah. uh, you... Well, then you can save money next time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad your music teacher told you to sing, so. Oh, thank you so that was, much. That was awesome. Thank that you. was written by Kaylin's Rain, of course, Glenn and Kaylee from yeah, Kaylin's Rain. Yeah. yeah, it was really cool. Yeah, we just sat down in the lounge room and, you know, just started writing, which was really cool. They're, they're really nice people. So how much writing do you do? You, you write all the time? Or? Yeah, I write all the time. I write all the time. Yeah. I write all the time. 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 I Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you go through those breaks where you have songwriters block, but um, yeah, you have to come out and just yeah, come out with verse the songs, but you know, you might have some which is so mediocre and then one you get the golden one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nine out of ten. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> one is all you need. <laughs> that, that golden one, yeah. Where do you source inspiration from? Yeah. I'm pretty much everywhere, like from yeah. people I meet, mean, just to just silly things that people say. Like, <laughs> it's all so inspirational. Yeah. And, yeah, you just take it on board and just go up with your own little interpretation. Mm. I walk past the carrot section and all of a sudden I'm writing a song. <laughs> <laughs> so I can never do that. Like, I just. Keep coming to start. I've always tried to just, yeah, draw inspiration from places, but just can't. Oh, it's really? to do it. Yeah. But you wrote that little song. That would be a little song. Yeah. Well, that's yeah, my first one and only one. Yeah, but uh, you're gonna play it. Yeah, we should play that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally do that. <laughs> but um, yeah, for yourself, uh, the festival. What does it have in store for you? Yeah. Um. Well, I've already done a few shows already. Um. Cool. I did uh, Adam X Lee support the other night. Awesome. Really how how cool? Show. How cool that? Yeah, those guys are like the coolest dudes. Like too much hair. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I've, seen, I've I've told them they need to cut back on the hair. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Scrub up. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. No, um, yeah, so we did that, and um, I've been doing a few shows at Pink and Tinder. I've got one on tomorrow, actually. Oh, cool, just out the front. Yeah, yeah, just out the front. So I believe that's at 12 o'clock. Awesome. And um, later that night, I'll be like making an appearance at Shane Nicholson's show. Yes. Making an appearance. <laughs> 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 yeah, so Shane's beautiful. Oh, he so definitely is. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you then. Yeah, yeah, no, it should be good. Good fun. Yeah, I mean, and like, how, how cool is that to know you just um, play with people like Adam and Shane and um, you know other artists like that? So how how awesome is that? And how yeah. important is that for yourself oh, exactly. and and the younger um, musicians that are coming up? Yeah, well, totally. Like they they're just helping out, and um, yeah, I have so much respect for them because you know it's a tough industry and everyone's trying their best to do to to like become successful, and these guys are just another stepping stone. Yeah, it's really helpful that they're trying to just get there. So, yeah. yeah, really great. And, and for, my, for myself as well, uh, you know, coming to the festival for you know so many years, and like just every year, it seems like there's new people, um, yeah. new artists that are you know just climbing the ranks and exactly. just bursting out of nowhere. And it's like you know <laughs> they've been here all this time, but then you just get people yeah. like people like that to help out and say, come and jump on our stage. Yeah, and they get noticed. Yeah. That's, that's the best part. It's yeah. So cool. yeah. Carrie Hayward, which is very simple. Just in high school. How long ago was that for you? We're not interviewing me. She's just out of high school. Oh, such talent. Oh, no, she's thank just you. out of high school. It's ridiculous. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's awesome. You're awesome, and um, you know it's uh, it's been great talking to you. Yeah, but, um, I think I think we might get you to do one more song. One more song. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're pushing it a bit. <laughs> 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 I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We have the only ones we like get to do a second song. Oh, okay. Well, I feel privileged then. Right. Um. Wow. Put me on the spot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm gonna do another one of mine actually. Um, this one is just basically about those craving dreams that we all have. Yeah, so um, it's called Vivid Dreams. It goes like this. It's a house in the hills where nobody goes. There's a wealth in the past with no more shackles. Sitting in a chair, here's the old lady. She's up and she's down, she's 
so cool. Kelly Haywood, the yes. Yes. Nice. Yeah, thank you. And um, well, for yourself this year, how how uh, set to uh, be in uh, cruise now? Yeah, well, um, well sorry, uh, it's a, uh, it's a, <laughs> yeah, um, well, pretty much I've been just travelling around in my van. Um, I've been playing a lot more festivals, doing a lot more shows, just all over the show, and not just for the band. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to some new music as well. So, very soon I'll release another single. Yeah. Do you want a bit more around um, uh, collaborations in co writing with um, good friends? Yeah, totally. Yeah, it's always interesting to do that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'll be doing a lot more of it. Cool. I mean, uh, you know, well, it's just been a great pleasure having you on the show. Thank you, thank you so much for uh, having me. Good, oh, thank you, turn around. Is that better? That's right, that's right. Okay, yeah. Okay. And, um, I mean, uh, yeah, good luck with uh, the rest of the festival and uh, happy other fun. And, um, yeah, thanks for coming on Calm Radio. Oh, cheers, thank you so much for having me. That's uh, Carrie Haywood on uh, Aitken FM. Karma Radio going out right across Australia on so many networks, it's unbelievable. The second biggest radio footprint in Australia at the moment, the Central Australian Aboriginal Network Association. And uh, as I said, that was uh, Carrie Hayward. She was number nine on the iTunes Singer Songwriter chart. Yes, and I think uh, we might go with um, one of the dance songs. Oh no, I'll go with Gus. Yeah, Gus. Here's um, Namajira. Thank you guys so much.